Reggie Moore, UCLA wide receivers coach, joins us right now. Coach, uh, first impressions uh, just this early in camp. How are you feeling? I'm uh, feeling pretty good. Uh, my numbers are, are, are a little small, uh, but as a group, those guys are competing really hard and they're trying to do the right thing. And, and there's some bright spots. They're making some plays. You know, you have I don't not necessarily the most veteran group, but in terms of playing time with with Embry and Rosario and, and Smith back there, you seem to have at least the the most experienced group. Uh, talk about what that's like to coach three guys like that who, you know, obviously need a lot of coaching still, but maybe have a couple things under their belt. Well, it's kind of a comfort area uh, when you got guys going into their junior year that you've been around and they've got the game experience, um, so it's not new to them. And the other guys are going to rally around those guys that have the experience. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to have a group that's, you know, talented as well, but to have some guys that have experience uh, so the other guys can feed off of it. Um, there seems to be a pretty tight battle for that number four spot. Um, you seem to do a lot of rotating with, with, with Carol, Marvray, and Johnson as well. Talk about that spot and what it's like to be up for grabs and basically what they all need to do. Well, right now I tell them um, you're competing uh, not only against the uh, defense right now, but with one another, you know, and that just kind of brings out the competition in everybody. Yeah. And like I said, you know, there's no etched in starter. Okay, you guys are on a daily basis. Uh, just make sure you're out there competing. Um, talk about, I guess, individually what each of those guys need to prove to you. Uh, for the most part, um, I guess starting with uh, Nelson Rosario, uh, I think, you know, he just needs to be more consistent of a player. He's got all the tools. I uh, just want to see him be a little more consistent on a regular basis. Um, Taylor Embry is, is pretty steady. You know, I just want to make sure that he understands that we're expecting touchdowns and big plays from him. Okay, he's going into his third year. He's, he's pretty sharp, um, and he's a veteran guy. Yeah. Uh, Randall Carroll, I just want to make sure that, that he utilizes his talents, yeah. uh, which is speed, and he's consistent in, in, in catching the ball and making plays. Uh, as far as Ricky Marvry, you know, he just needs to understand that the more you understand about the offense, then the more less mistakes you make and the more chances you get mm -hmm. to play on, on Saturday. And he's making a bunch of plays right now. Uh, Jerry Johnson is another guy. Uh, confidence for him. You know, it's going into his third year. He'll be a sophomore. But I just want to see him be a little more consistent. Okay, a little, little, little more uh, on the hungrier side. Mm -hmm. And Josh Smith, I mean, we have to just see what he can do, period. Yeah. You know, he's been kind of hurt since he's been here. Yeah. But you see flashes of talent. He's obviously had game experience in Colorado. Yeah. Uh, Coach, going back to Ricky, I'm, I'm writing about him today. Uh, he seems to be a guy who, I don't know what he did in the offseason, but he just came back and he, he's blown everyone away. Um, do you have that same kind of wide-eyed attitude that maybe fans or, or we have? Or have you kind of seen it before and maybe you expect a, a little more than maybe even we do? Well, the reason he's here is uh, he came to our camps and he was a very competitive guy. Uh, we, we had some other guys on the radar, but he just kept showing up in those camps uh, coming out of high school. And he's a competitive guy. His spirit is, is, is tremendous. He loves football. So we knew it was there. The, the main thing was him understanding what we're trying to do and learning the offense. And the natural talent's going to come out. Yeah. Um, talk about the, the progression as a wide receiver. You have that natural talent, then you learn the offense, and it seems like the, the final fig leaf is, is just getting open and the whole route running idea. Um, he seems to, to have that. Nelson seems to really have that. Talk about that, I guess, part of the game and how you evolve as a receiver around that. Well, uh, you come in as a receiver, you have to transition first from high school to uh, college. The game is a little faster. Okay. Offensively, there's probably going to be a little more in the playbook. Um, so you have to first get that adjustment. Then you have to adjust to the college life, being on time, being, being accountable, being responsible. And this is the growing up phase. And so once you start learning the offense and you make that transition and you start getting out here and you learn from your mistakes, then you can be a natural player. And you understand what defenses are trying to do and you find boards in there and against man, you try to make plays against man coverage. So that's kind of the progression for a wide receiver. And he's done it? He's or done he's it. in the process of doing he's it? He's in the process of doing it. He's <laughs> play on Saturday. <laughs> awesome. Great stuff. Reggie Moore, UCLA wide receiver coach. Thanks, man.